As a price action trader, my goal is to identify proper places on a chart where the opportunity for me to take the entry will appear. I'm not relying on any indicators. There's only one indicator that I'm using as a supportive indicator only. And this is this blue line 21 bar exponential moving average. Other than that, I'm relying solely on the naked price action because price action is a language and it's speaking to me and it's giving me all the information I can gather to identify high probability setups at the key entry point. Now, high probability setup is a two-legged like pullback or fell to like a pullback that goes against the trend or even lower high double trap. So now that I'm looking at the structure, I can see that the EMA is pointing down. We have a series of lower highs and lower lows, and this is a clearly for me a bearish downtrend. So the only thing I'm expecting for prices to do is to pull back to key entry point. Now that I'm watching this downtrend, of course, I'm always trying to find the proper channel because the proper channel is going to be key entry point. Price action is never naked on a chart and there's always some form of a pattern. So now that I see a break and a new low of this first initial downtrend, I can see that the prices keep pushing lower and keep pushing lower. This is telling me, hold on, after breaking a new low, we're supposed to reverse and the fact that we cannot even make it to the EMA is telling me that this downtrend is strong. So this is where I found this slightly wider channel. I'm just gonna copy it, put it at the bottom, and right now the bias is still bearish. I can see that we have a break and a new extreme. Now they have the big channel. You can also see them drawing the shortened trend lines for the corrections because the trend line will apply even for these corrections. When there is a break, there's going to be new extreme attempted. So for that reason, I'm drawing the shortened trend lines. I'm drawing them tight because they are against the overall direction. So as the prices right now are pushing lower, I am expect for prices to pull back to key entry point. Right now, there is no high priority setup just yet because it's not even touching the exponential moving average. There was the new low form, this is where I reset the count and I have a first entry short pullback, second entry short. So this is a second entry short at the exponential moving average, but when I'm watching this, I have a shortened uptrend in play, which is telling me that it is not safe for me to go long just yet. Price broke the trend line, attempted to create new extreme and there was a lower high form confirming the second entry short, lower high confirmation setup of the second entry, EMA keeps holding price, attempt to create new extreme, bias is still bearish despite the fact that you have a break and new low this is still way too bearish and lower high is confirming the second entry short so in that case it's safe to take the entry this was right around the open or slightly before the open so i didn't take this entry myself but this is a decent high probability setup to take market opened and continue pushing lower now that i'm watching this and i can still see that the bias is strong bearish i'm trying to find some different pattern this was the pattern that i found first it got a little overshoot at the very beginning. So what I did, I just extended it a little bit. And this pattern definitely seems valid. As the price action structure kept working, I found a slightly different pattern. This was the pattern that I ended up focusing on throughout the entire day, which fits nicely at the same time. It doesn't really matter too much which pattern you choose now because you're mostly following the bias and I'm mostly focusing on the EMA. Notice how every single pullback that exponential moving average is getting rejected hard. This is EMA hard mode and you almost want to sell any pullback at the exponential moving average. I cannot deny that the structure is clearly bearish. So right now I'm just looking for a possible channel, but if you cannot find a channel, just focus on the EMA and on the high probability setup. Notice at the same time, I'm not worried about all these trades all the way down here. I want to wait for prices come to my key entry point. So this is the new low and we have a first entry short that didn't create second entry short. So I cannot take the entry right here. We have another new low and we have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. Technically, once this bar finished, it created a low that is lower than this. So it is not second entry short, but I treat it that way. I look at it like new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short looked very close. But more importantly, new high, first entry long, second entry long. Any second entry long against the overall trend is going to be considered trap if it forms great. And this was my first trade for the day, felt second entry long, high probability setup close to EMA and the structure is still bearish. At this point on, is anything changing from the price action perspective? No, nothing is changing at all. I'm still following the same price action rules. I'm not concentrating. I'm not even thinking about buying the market. Don't even buy the market. Your goal is just to let these corrections play out and then you know you're safe to go short again. So we have an uptrend, we have a break, new extreme indicating that this uptrend played out, new low form, first century short pullback, second entry short. Now looking back, this is a good entry. When I was watching this, I was a little bit afraid. I skipped this entry. I was a little bit afraid because 
We kept making these pushes smaller and smaller, which means we failed to push lower and lower and we were getting closer to EMA. But when there is a break at a new high and such a great bearish bar in such a strong downtrend and notice we haven't even pushed above EMA once since the very beginning. So this is a great high probability setup. What I did, I waited for confirmation setup, lower high of this second entry short. Lower high is a confirmation setup. And once that, once I see a break in your high, a nice tick higher into the reverse down trap, everybody going long, close below EMA. This was my second trade for the day. Two trades just in the span of 10 minutes. And you guys can see, create a quick easy scalp. Both runners got stopped. At that point on, we had EMA get bar, first bar to close above exponential moving average is going to probably create a scalp but it's a little bit more advanced entry i don't want to go too in depth to that one notice i'm doing these short and uptrends break and a new extreme at this point on i see a break and new high indicating to me that the uptrend played out what do i expect here i cannot just sell above ema just yet i want to see confirmation of bearish momentum because price can pull back to ema and create a second tiny little leg to a new high before turning down you never know what's going to happen i need to wait for prices to push below ema and confirm the overall bearish momentum and you guys can see prices pushed lower and there was a lower high. This would have been great entry had it triggered straight below this bar right here. It stalled, there was doji and then there was this bullish bar. So unfortunately there was no entry, but this lower high would be great. Look at the big bearish bar. Structure is still clearly bearish. You have no business of going long at all, but there was no trigger here. So you cannot take an entry and you have to be patient. I'm still focusing on high probability setups. And right here is a felt second entry long new high. First entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. It's a high probability setup. The bias is good. It's below EMA. Signal bar is good. It is not that congested. Great high probability setup, felt second entry long. At this point, you're still focusing on this flatter channel. It doesn't really matter which channel you play. You can even play this channel, but you have a break and you still expect to get new extremes. So once the structure is so bearish, you basically just look for any opportunity to sell. Now, when I was watching this, I was trying to look for a potential trading range like this. At first, this is what I had. We kept pushing lower. And for that reason, I don't like the second entry short. This second new, new low, first entry short, second entry short, another two like a pullback in a strong downtrend at EMA. But you don't know that this support is not going to hold. And at the time, I even drew my uptrend a little bit wider because you expect reversal at least a little bit. And this second entry short is a little bit in the middle of no man's land. So I don't think it's a great thing to go short just yet. Once this support didn't hold and we kept pushing lower and kept pushing lower. This is where I really started trusting this channel because at first I played this channel right here. Once we kept pushing lower and it was starting to be obvious that this may not be a trading range. I decided to pay attention to this downtrend and look what we have. I keep resetting the count at the bottom. First entry short, pull back, second entry short. Second entry short, we came off the trend line, big bearish bar. It is a little bit stacked, just a little bit. EMA gets in the middle of these bars, but you have to think about the structure. Once the trend is so strong, and we had last week, I think we had a strong uptrend, and it's a similar issue. Once you have a strong uptrend or downtrend, you have to bend the rules just a little bit because the price is so strong and the bias is so strong that you may not even get a clean textbook high priority setup. You will just have to take what you get and you cannot be afraid to pull the trigger on these entries because they all are great high probability setups and there's almost always something to worry about. So you have to trust the setup. You have to trust the rules and follow the overall bias. Now we strongly bounced. So once again, I'm going to have to redraw my uptrend. I see the uptrend working higher. I have a new high. It is starting to look like a trading range and I have a new high first entry long pullback second entry long failure. Now you definitely don't want to go long. You expect new high, correct? But we talked about how strong the bearish bias this is, strong downtrend. And any uptrend is just looked at as a temporary correction that eventually going to get reversed. So I'm not even every single time I see uptrend like this in a strong downtrend, all I'm thinking about is for second entry long to fail. I don't even care for prices to create new high because the bias is just so strong. Now, when I was watching this, I wasn't paying too much of attention to this resistance. The reason why I don't like this felt second entry long because it's still close above EMA. I will mark this as an aggressive entry felt second entry long because it is following the rules. First entry long, second entry long failure. It is off the trend line. 
of the resistance, strong bearish bias, but you really want to be safe and to see prices to push below EMA and to confirm the bearish momentum because you can get trapped if you don't know what you're doing. So this is a little bit more advanced. If you're a beginner trader, you can skip this entry. You can wait for a lower high confirmation setup of felt second entry long. And now look how nice this bullish bar looks. A lot of people are going trapped. They don't respect the overall structure. They're trying to go long too early, but the lower high is a pure doji. This indicates indecision. I cannot go short just yet, unfortunately. So there's a break, new low. So downtrend played out, strong push above EMA, and this is where it's starting to get congested. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars stacked, then you have eight, then you have nine. So you definitely don't want to take an entry here. When I was watching this and I saw breaking new low without prices pushing all the way down here, because what you would expect un under such a strong bearish structure, I thought that we may eventually get now a new high of this uptrend. So I didn't even think about going short, but at the same time, I don't want to go long either. I just want to see this uptrend play out and then go short again. I didn't expect for prices to go high like this, but this just goes to show that this is area of indecision where you have to show maturity and you have to stay patient. You can get chopped into pieces. This will force you to take entries both ways because it is designed to make entries both ways look tempting and you never want to be in that situation. So once you see email in all these bars, you have to be patient strong push above resistance and what is the price action rule when it comes to trading ranges most breakouts of trading ranges will fail and notice price pull back now when i was watching this there is a possibility for you to draw uptrend like this but this is not correct because the bias was just still too bearish and it's too wide for trading range structure just yet i looked at it as a first lag little correction and a basically second leg up big two legs above proven trading range and i expect it for prices to pull back into this trading range following the price action rule can you fade the breakout here both failed breakouts would work even this entry or this double top it feels a little bit too far from the trading range this was a bit too bullish and the double top is too strong so i don't think you definitely are following the rules if you are looking to go short here but you want to see lower high or possibly third second entry long to be really sure once again, if you're advanced, you can pick a top here, but you're kind of taking a little bit of chance. You definitely don't want to go long, but this bar is way too big to risk anything. And there's not even tick higher for lower high. So unfortunately, you see market go without you. You expect felt second entry long and you don't even get that. You expect second entry short and you don't even get second entry short as well. You just see prices strongly pushing down. You have first entry short, bunch of new lows, first entry short. By the time you get second entry short, it's horrible doji not even close to EMA and it's already reached the low so you cannot take it even though this worked you already bounced the support so you cannot take the short at that point on it's already too late you need to see second entry short before you reach the lows and you want to capitalize on the move down so there is no entry here there is no entry here and this is just you know in structure unclear and you cannot take entry and this is where it got really hard it was really easy to capitalize on a bunch of easy high probability setups on the way down but once we enter this consolidating structure, this is where you have to identify what kind of structure you're looking at and you cannot force entries. If you miss these entries, you cannot force entries in this chop just because you want to take entry. There are going to be high priority setups along the way, but it doesn't mean you're going to force entries when you're not sure. So I don't see any high priority setup here. There's a first entry short. There is no even tick higher, which is a shame for a nice second entry short. Then you get lower high here but it's already way too down close to these lows body is so far away from ema you can check out my i think it's my last or uh the second last live training video where there is a similar lower high and i skipped that and i took the lower high after that this is you can see the stem is touching the ema but the body is too far down too far low then we pushed high created a break new high and lower high is above ema and a felt second entry short is a horrible bullish bar the bearish bar didn't even get triggered so there is no entry here. This is just congestion. EMA getting in all these bars. Just pure sideways momentum. No good lower high here as well. Just no good entry. You just have to sit here. Price is pushed higher. And right here is just chopping above trend range. And this is where you have conflicting patterns. It is too bullish for me to just pick top. But at the same time, I'm above the trend range. So I expect for prices to pull back temporarily. We did pull back. But we never really truly managed to push below EMA. Once you see this resistance acting now as a support now it's telling you that something is changing 
and the bias is bullish. When I was watching this, I was completely sitting on my hands. But notice you have a new high, first inch long, second inch long, triple bottom, big bullish bar, second inch long, down triple that with a breaking new, new low, great high probability setup. So at this point on the structure was a little bit confusing. It looked too bearish. We never really continued pushing lower. Then it reversed higher and never really gave you a good opportunity to go long and you expect the price to pull back into trading range never happened big push up big push down just v-shape reversals you definitely don't want to go long you keep doing the short and channels and then prices just kept pushing higher by the time we push above ema right here this was obvious that there is some bullish structure but there is no good uptrend when i was watching this i was trying to locate some decent uptrend but once we kept pushing higher this is where i located this channel i think this was the channel I didn't like drawing it at first because you have early break for the channel and this is rarely valid but this time it came into play nicely and this is the proper channel you ended up having overshoot but you can see that this is not spiky move price slowly but surely keeps chopping higher so you just extend the trend line to the upside so this is the bigger pattern but at this point on i'm just focusing on the ema i got my bigger pattern and i'm just looking for high probability setups to the upside which means i'm looking for two legged pullbacks second entry longs or felt second entry shorts we have a second entry long here but the bar is way too big the stop loss should really go below the single bar one take below the single bar so you cannot go long here only with the limit order but notice what you have you have a strong push below ema and strong push above confirming the momentum you have a new high first entry long pullback second entry long high low above exponential moving average now it is a little bit stacked I would have liked had it close a little bit earlier without this doji preferably so i will mark it as aggressive entry a little bit the context is good because at this point on bias is bullish ema keeps holding price great signal bar you would have to ride this out but it's a little bit congested notice you create a new high and you have another second entry long can i take the second entry long i cannot why because i have a downtrend in play even though it worked i don't want to break my rules i have a rules that i follow Short and down trend in play. Now that I have a break, new extreme, this looks like a larger visual two leg up pullback, first leg down, pullback, second leg down, high probability setup, double trap entry, big bullish bar close above EMA, and the market kept pushing higher. Now, once we are starting to push higher here, you can find a channel like this. You can already find a channel once we bounce here, but this just confirmed the trend line. You don't even need this trend line. Because once you see break a new low, strong push above EMA and EMA keeps holding price. You can see this is a high probability setup and the bias is telling you so. Prices are pushing higher, new high, first entry long, second entry long. Another second entry long is not touching the EMA but the downtrend in play. Can I take this entry? I cannot. Literally the same situation right here. It probably worked for a scalp. But the next time when the market is not going to be so volatile, it will just touch your order or barely not get you out. It will reverse. And now you will have a double trap entry, basically repeat pattern of this situation right here. Great bullish bar, worked, down trap with a new low. There's a high low, but never triggered. It stalled and the EMA is on these bars, so you have to be patient. Notice, prices came back and confirmed the key entry point. So you guys can see how reliable price action is, but this is not really a no setup, just a first entry long. It's not really fitting perfectly, so... A little bit aggressive you're definitely not going wrong by going along here but it's just not a high probability setup in this situation what i like to do i like to see a high low or felt second entry short but look notice high low far away from ema the momentum was just too strong it closed too far up and felt second entry long we can't even talk about felt second entry short we can't even talk about that it's way too far up you can see what can happen you can get trapped so far away from ema at the very high of the move broke the uptrend kept pushing higher but at this point on, the option is just so strong. You can see how just you keep consistently pushing higher and higher. And this will a lot of times lure top big traders because they will think that the uptrend has to reverse any second. And they see these big bearish bars and they want to go short. But you have to follow the rule, stay with the trend, don't concentrate. And you have a first entry long, second entry long. This actually looks like a fairly a decent entry break new low decent bar you know i'm mark the second inch long is a slightly aggressive entry and then you even get back to back new high first entry long pullback second entry long break a new low of the downtrend 
another second entry long, you get a higher low that ended up working, even third second entry short ended up working, but this two pin just did now two sideways, so you have to be patient. New high, first entry long, second entry long, another two like a pullback, this is ridiculous, first entry long, second long. Of course, this is below EMA, so you probably would have uh, not taken this. Uh, now, after the fact, I can see that there's probably a spike in the channel developing. You don't have to find a proper channel. All you have to do is just focus on the EMA. That's the beauty of this. You can be clueless about the channel, but if you identify how strong the bias is and you follow the EMA and you follow the short-term trend lines, because once you have a break in your low that is telling you that the sellers are not strong enough to continue the downtrend and second entry longs basically are high probability setups. You guys can see we are about to close very soon. So it was very difficult to trade in the middle. Oh, these were my two trades for the day. I took this entry right here. Got the scalp, runner got stopped out the break even, and my second entry got the scalp, and the runner got stopped at break even. Once again, I didn't take any entry after that. But you have to be able to identify the structures. When it's a strong downtrend like this, you can bend the rules just a little bit and take the scalps because these are really high probability setups. Notice how easy the price action is and how reliable the high probability setups are. Then came the difficult period where it got too choppy too congested without any clear setup it was really difficult to put finger on the price action and once you broke higher and you kept creating consistent higher highs and higher lows the uptrend is proven and eventually you were able to capitalize on a couple of these decent longs so it is hard mentally to sit here for three hours without a setup and just wait for the last hour before the close or hour and a half but sometimes it is important and this is what you need to do and it just goes to show that you cannot force entries. There's always a couple of high priority setups a day and you need to take a break if you feel the need to take the trade and eventually there are going to be a few good setups. And if you don't want to sit here and wait for a close, then by all means, close the shop and trade the next day. The market is never going to go away and it's going to be there tomorrow. So you have to find the proper structure and you have to be occupied to not force entries. I'm going to talk to you next time. Take care, everybody.